THC oh, syrup. Let's, let's stop on the cannabis company. No, I want to say them all. <laughs> yeah. I got to say them all. And then we'll go back in. But I don't want to miss anything because this man got so much going on. Yeah. That, yeah. So sometimes the media and the spotlight, they don't want to, you know, shed that light on, on these positive things and on these great things that our artists and our exactly. bosses, CEOs, our people in the industry that are doing. So I want to make sure I shed light on them before we go in on them. So he got exactly. the cannabis company, the THC syrup, the nonprofit organization, Spread the Love, and then also the clothing line, which is the life apparel. So whichever yeah. one you want to start with, let's dig in. I'll leave it up to you. We can start with the cannabis, uh, with the uh, cannabis company and the THC syrup if you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that that's um basically you know what it is. Um, everybody, you know, when you think of Bone Thugs and Harmony, you know, it, we we just resonate. Yeah. With, with 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 cannabis, you know we get. You know, Especially man. when y'all made that song. Right. For smoking, you know, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like we resonate with it, man. And like, um, we um, I always wanted to do a, uh, you know, what I'm saying like, like once it was legal, you know, what I'm saying I, I I just thought it was a no brainer, but just just for Bone Thugs and Harmony and like you know, like I said, just like other groups that's doing it, like Cypress Hill and Snoop mm -hmm. and Wiz, you know, it's like a no brainer, man. And um, and and there's a lot of education that comes along. With, I really feel we should have a hand in it, a strong hand in it anyway, from because we've been penalized for it for, for sure. hundreds of years, went to jail for it. Some some people still in jail doing heavy bids. Mm -hmm. but for cannabis and now all of a sudden people out here making a living off of it i think that is that right. that's that's really not cool so some things need to change so i'm working with some programs to help you know like change the narrative to some of these things man and doing some of that with the nonprofit mixed in as well you know what i'm saying so so the nonprofit organization spread the love what is that like let's touch bases on that what does that stand for and what is that about that's something um you, you know that i'm doing that i'm doing back at in my home uh, hometown, Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? Right now I'm in the process of acquiring the uh, the lot of my old elementary school to to build a uh, Bone Thugs, a, a BTNH academy, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Museum, rec center, and all this like like a like a plaza, you know what I'm saying? Like where people have, yeah. can go there and, you know, like take classes, learn the game. Whether well, you want to be an engineer, you want to learn the music business, like all this stuff. stuff. Gonna have all these courses there. You know what I'm saying? Right in the neighborhood where I was, right where I went to school at. You know what I'm saying? So it's like right there. So I, I've been. So you want to build? It. You you building up the community and giving them options and giving them the tools to push them right. to that to that next level if they want to do something in music or whatever services you you'll yes. provide. Yeah, basically. You know? And, and, and and the museum that I want to do, I, I want to I want to be a museum of all the artists, or entertainers that made it out of Ohio. You know what I'm saying? So people could come there from Ohio, just in the surrounding areas, and draw inspiration from this. You're like, okay, we can do this. You know what I'm saying? All because there's so many people from Ohio, although they may not talk about it, there are so many people that made it from Ohio that's famous. You you would hear. Yeah, It'd be like what? Because there's a lot of people I didn't know they never talk about. Yeah. It, you know what I'm saying? But there's so many people that's doing so many things, not just entertainment, but behind the scenes and big, in big positions. You know what I'm saying? Like so, it's like my 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 whole goal is I'm also going to have my my record label, the Life Entertainment Station in Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? Because I want people to feel like you know they have somewhere to go to. You you ain't got to go to L.A. You ain't got to go to New York. We need to start this now. And we you need that. And that and is we so need needed. That. That so is that so is needed. amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. That type of inspiration, you're going to draw a lot of people. You know, you're going to draw in a lot yes. of people. So shouts out to that. And I can't wait, you know, to see that transform. Yeah, That's so dope. That. We definitely need that. And then your clothing line, Life Apparel. What inspires you to start a clothing brand? And then also, um, what does it stand for? Well, well, the life, man, it's just like... um. Like I said, it, it's just like it, it was just all inspired from the bone culture. I mean, we wanted a we wanted a few groups that 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 was blessed to be able to start a culture within a culture. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like um because our fans are fanatics. You know what I'm saying? And they they follow us through thick and thin. So it's like 
um, I wanted to make something so they would have like some authentic bone gear, you know what I'm saying? Because it was many years went by to where they was getting ripped off from this one or that one. It, it was just like all over the place. And you know what I'm saying? Kind of wanted to bring everything in, you know what I'm saying? And like try to, um, you know what I'm saying? Like oversee what was going on, but we've been going for a good 20 years now. Going on, going on 20 years, you know what I'm saying? It's been very successful. We've been doing other artists merch as well. So any other artists out there that need their merch done, quality merch, you know what I'm saying? Holler at us, get at us. Life with and how can they and, get at you? Man, Just for people know. that want to work with you, if you're open to doing, you know, yeah. features, music, what's the best way for, you know, fans or um, up and coming artists or anyone who may want to work with you on any type of, you know, business, 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 yeah. How would they get in touch with you? Yeah, you can get you can get get at me on um, IG, 